Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my late update for the hashtag Partners in Cream that was set up by myself and by the lovely Dalin. Everything shall be linked down below because I tend to forget things, but I am posting this late. Today is the 18th that I'm recording it, so I'm eight days late. I had the flu, we all had the flu in this house, and that is why so i have a shorter amount of time between this time and the next time but if you're interested in seeing my update then let's just get into it okay so i have personally got five products in at any given time it is a cream project basically anything that's not a powder rolling style and there's a quarterly refresh but again Everything will be linked down below in case I forget, but I'm working on five at any given time. I've hit two goals, so I'm going to show you those first, show you my three products that I'll have still in, and then the two that I'll be rolling in at the end. And for those of you who may not already know, four of the goals are always to finish, and one is always a usage goal, and I'll explain it at the time. But the first one that I finished finally is the Soap and Glory Melty Talented for dry lips, hair tips, elbows, knees, whatever. I use it as a lip balm. I didn't really like, it was like, it was like coconut oil pretty much. I didn't want to use it. It's a big massive tin and it was too, it's not like Vaseline when you put it on your lips and you can rub it around, it becomes an oil. So I didn't really like it. It took me 48 uses to finish it from what I had. And it was eight further uses from the last update, but it is empty now and I have a tin that can go into my makeup empties for the year. And I'm glad I pushed it out because this was in my collection for a long time. I got it for, for a Christmas and I'm just glad I used it. The next product I hit goal on was my usage goal product. I had, I have one usage goal for things like this where I don't want to use it 200 times in a row. And it is this Natasha Jonah Bloom Blush and Glow in this deep dark red shade. It is no different. Do I remember the uses? Let me go through the uses. Obviously I used it 20 times, but I just wanted to see where we're at total uses. I'm at 69 uses now with this deep dark red blush. And I have swatches on my hands, but deep dark red blush. And it's for things like this, where I don't mind using it 20 times and keep rolling it in my collection, but 200-ish times in a row would kill me. It would kill me stone dead. So, no interest in doing that, but it's such a lovely product. It's just very a statement look. I wore it nine days in a row and I was like, okay, I have to, I have to, nine was, was enough for me when I wanted to do something else. And then I started doing it every second day after that. But yeah, we've hit 20 and it, the 20 is today. It is on me today. I find when I apply, apply it with a sponge like this, that it's very intense. But if I had apply it with a, like a stiff, stippling brush it comes up a bit nicer for my preference but yeah 20 uses reached on that and i think i rolled it in the last update the reason why i was able to make it to 20 uses is because i am eight days late so it is what it is but that means i have my penalty is the next update oh the the weights did i do that the weights oh my god i only used 0 0.09 grams in 20 uses I don't know how people hit pan on that. It is just, there's not even a dip in it. There's not even a dip. It's a lovely product, but there's not even a dip. Next product I had in or have in is for progress is the lip liner from MAC. I really like drier lip pencils that are retractable. And we're down to here now. I had this in my 20 favorites in 2020. I think it was in my partners in cream in 2021. And now here's where I'm at. It is one of those ones that take a long time to use because I don't sharpen it until I need to. And it is drier and I, I just love these particular pencils from MAC. It doesn't, I don't think it's the pro long wear. It's just doesn't say anything, just lip pencil on it. But it's a dark brown and it goes with everything. And I find that the lip liner stays on me longer than my lip products. So sometimes I end up with a lip line, but I really like it. I don't mind using it. I've like, I like using one at a time and I've used it 28 times since the 28 times since you've last seen it for a total of 57 times so far in 2022, we've used this bad boy. And she's still going and I don't mind because if I mind, I'm on my third year of using it and pretty much exclusively, unless I'm wearing a different color. If I'm wearing anything, I'm mostly wearing brownie or nude shades the whole time. So I was pretty much wearing that exclusively bar this kind of a look since. Piece of paper should have been there the whole time. If not, I am sorry. The next product is my Kosas Tropic Equinox Cream 
blush and highlighter duo. There's nine grams in total. I am working on the highlighter side. I will show you any progress pictures that I have, but I have used it a total of 55 times at the moment and 36 times since you've last seen it. I think it's truly beautiful. I really like it. I am very glad that I'm working on it because it's starting to smell. It's going. It is going off. And what bothers me about that is it's not old. It's not like it's over a year old. So to me, that's not old, but it's under two years old. So why is it already going? I don't know. Is that normal? I like I just I don't know. But it is starting to go off, so I'm glad that I'm getting use out of it now because I really like this highlighter. I just think it's really pretty. The first layer was very puttyish and very sticky, but after that then it was just so beautiful. And I'm panning a powder highlight, so I often layer, but I would love to just wear this on its own because it's subtle. I have a powder highlight on over top at the moment that I'm panning, but it's just so bloody beautiful. I have not seen the pictures of the progress but I imagine this pan has been expanded hugely. It's quite thin around this side here so I'm wondering should I focus now on the thicker areas and then when I've used up all the thicker areas smush what's left because I can't really get in there. I, I apply it with my finger actually. I apply it with my... what finger do I apply it with? Let me just pretend I'm doing it. It's either the middle finger or the ring finger. I'm going to pay attention. <laughs> I basically apply it with my finger so that is where I am with that. I use it 36 times. I weighed it. I weighed it. What was the story with the weights? I've weighed it and I've used 1.15 grams since you've last seen it. It currently weighs 55.40 grams. And that is where I am with that. And I feel less bad about using it up now because it is definitely starting to go. It's starting to smell like what a MAC lipstick smells like when it goes off. Like Play-Doh. It's starting to smell Play-Doh-ish, but it's fine so far. It's fine so far. Ooh, kind of disappointing because I kind of, at this moment, I really like that highlighter, you know? I love a cream highlighter. The final product in for progress before we start rolling stuff in is this Urban Decon eyeshadow primer potion original that I got from Elaine, who is a lovely, lovely individual. And I've been so absent from everything that I really want to catch up with everyone and see what's going on. But she's very, very nice and I appreciate knowing her. There's 10 mils in total or 0.33 fluid ounces. As you can see, I only went down a smidge of roux, a smidge, but I use it all of the time. What's the story with uses? I've used it a total of 54 times in this project and 34, three and two, yeah, 34 times since you've last seen it. So 34 brought me down that little line. The only thing about this is if you don't wipe it in quickly, it can curdle. That's probably not the right word, but it's not quite pilling. It like crusts a little bit if you don't wipe it in quickly. However, however, I have a very, I have oily skin, oily eyelids. And it just, it just keeps my eyeshadow on. It keeps my eyeshadow on until I decide to take it off. My whole face will be gone, but my eyeshadow will be on. It will be patchy. It just, it absolutely works. And now that I've just figured out that curdle, sometimes it can curdle out here for, I don't know why, but sometimes it can. But aside from that, I would purchase this. I have used one up before and this is, this is either my second or third, but I would get this again. I would like to try them, is either the Milani one or the Wet n Wild one, because this one, excuse me, is expensive. However, in saying that, it lasts a very long time. But yeah, I, I really like it. I've used it a lot. I think it definitely keeps my eyeshadow on anyway, until I decide to take it off. How much of it did I use? I used 1.2 grams of this. That's a lot to me, that's a lot. Like sometimes, I take it out and I use the little doe foot and then other times um, I kind of squeeze up a little bit and wipe it off because you can squeeze it just to wipe it off. I don't like to put too much but sometimes I just find it easier. I don't know why, it just is the way I do it. I don't overuse it, I really like it and it's fab. Then for rolling in, rolling in time. Right, so I'm rolling in this black eyeliner from Marc Jacobs. I tend, I don't know why this is, but for black eyeliners, pencils anyway, I tend to use one eyeliner back to back. I won't use two different black eyeliners simultaneously. I will use one and none other until I finish it. So the last eyeliner I finished that was black was the Inglot 01 eyeliner. And it was okay, but it would fall, if I tight line, it would fall down here. 
So this Marc Jacob ones, although I don't believe you can still purchase these, and I got this one from Elaine, I don't even know where I would get it, but I think that it's quite opaque in terms of blackness if you go over it. Because I heard loads of people saying this is the blackest thing known to man and it really is in that waterline. And I didn't find that. But what I did find is if you go over it, it is quite black. It does not last a long time in my waterline. What it does is, see look it's gone already and I've only done my makeup. Um, it kind of falls down to your lashes a bit and it looks like you have eyeliner on but it's not actually on the waterline. And sometimes it falls down the side. Well, I don't know why that is. I, I seem to have that problem. So for me, it's it's more opaque in blackness than the Inglot one. It does not last longer than the Inglot one, but it doesn't fall down like the Inglot one did. That was very quite messy. So overall, this one is better than that one. And I've marked it on a piece of paper. I'll put it there. I have been using this since I was using that black one. And I just want to track it basically to make sure I don't stop wearing eyeliner because I like how it looks when I tight line even if I don't do the waterline and I want to make sure I stay in that habit because I do like doing that. I'm curious to see what black eyeliner I end up using if any that actually are quite opaque in the colour but also last on me and then they don't does not fall out into this pool into the corners here because I find that that just makes me look wrecked. So anyway, that's the story with that. I am enjoying using it now that I figured that out. And then the next thing that I'm rolling in for my usage goal is this again. So it's the same duo that I'm working on, but I'm rolling in this cream blush. I am working on a cream blush in my project pan. Um, so, and I need, since I was really trying to get those 20 uses out of that cream blush, I kind of prioritized that over my, my year long project. So I kind of want to start balancing the two so I don't foresee me hitting 20 uses between the next time but if I could get between 7 and 10 I would be so happy actually sorry there's going to be less time we'll say 7 I could, if I could get to 7 very minimum 7 but I want to start working on this so 20 uses on this oh yeah 20 uses let me just swatch it see this is the top layer that's going to be puttish I love this color I have swatches on my arm so I don't know if you can see, but it's like an orangey brown and it's beautiful. It'll blend really easy. I am a person who does not like pigmented blushes because I get clown face and I have to powder it off. So I work better with buildable for user. It's more user friendly for me. So this is the story with this. I really like the color of it. And let's just get 20 uses out of it and see what the story is. I would like to finish both of these now that it's starting to go. But right now I'd settle for 20 uses um, because I really do want to, I have a cream blush in my year long project and I need to finish that cream blush. There is a reason for it. Um, I'll link my team project pan down below before I try and finish this one. Um, I don't know, can I finish that in a year? But anyway, in less than a year, but you see, you see what I mean. You see what I mean, girl? I think that's everything. I try to add people's videos to the playlists as I saw them. So I hope I have everyone's in but I have been seeing the updates go up on Instagram and everything it's been keeping me company while feeling like crap but thank you so much for watching I really I'm just so grateful that people are doing this project it's just so shocking to me and that people are enjoying it because I, I like that it's it's any products between three and six you can really do what you want but I think five is a nice number for me uh, three or five would have been a nice number because I'm doing that year-long project and I tend to just join projects left, right and centre and then I'm not playing with my collection. So five is a nice number. And it, it, this project in my mind was exactly for things like this. Do not expire. It's a beautiful product. Get to it before that happens. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you the next time. Take care. Bye.